For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. After leaving Pine Coning Park, we ventured west off of I-75 and drove north on Highway 23 along the coast of Lake Huron. We stopped at this lovely roadside park to have lunch, and while we were there, we met Carolyn, a resident of the area, and had a nice conversation about RVing and traveling. We traveled to Long Lake Campground and County Park in Alpena, Michigan. As you can see from the video, there were gravel roads throughout the park. The campsites were small and it was crowded because it catered to local camping on the weekends. The park offers lots of activities such as camping, swimming, boating, fishing, and hiking. According to Wikipedia, Long Lake is over 5,600 acres and is a shallow lake with the largest depth of 25 feet. Because of the wind, the lake temperatures remain constant. We were in site number eight. We had no privacy at this campground and it was a very unlevel site. We did have electric and water hookups. I'm so glad we pulled in forward because we did have a fantastic view of the lake. We were able to get out one day for a hike and we went to Rockport Recreational Trail that was close to our campsite. The site had beautiful views of Thunder Bay on Lake Huron. As stated on the Michigan Department of Natural Resources website, the property includes a deep water protected harbor, an old limestone quarry of approximately 300 acres, and a unique set of sinkholes, and much more. The area has much maritime history. As you can see, the hike was not so flat and up the hills we went. We just walked down that Latourite Trail. It's nice and rocky. It's a little slick in places. 50 miles of water. And just a little more piece of the trail here. We're walking along the side of a big drop off. As you can see, lots of trees. Yeah, looks cool. So we walked the trail that we were on, and this is where it came to. It's an overlook of Lake Huron. It is blue as can be today. Yeah, it does look like the ocean. You just don't get that salt feeling. All we know is we were camped 120 miles south of here on Lake Huron. Same lake. Pretty cool. The trail just changed. We made a turn, and now we are down in the forest. This mining place. Well, the trail changed again. Now it's wide open. There's actually a person ahead of us, a couple people up there. So we will see where this goes. Looks like this one's big enough for a car to get down, which is nice. Well, there are a couple big puddles, but it looks like you can get across without getting your feet wet. Joe just proved it. There's Rhonda going around some of these big puddles. She swears we're coming to a beach area. I'm not sure. Well, that last puddle behind Rhonda changed her mind. It was about time to head back. <laughs> we'll finish that 10,000 steps. Well, we've chosen to go in this direction. So, there's Joe walking across the little bridge. No problem. He's gonna get out of the way. Now my turn. Part of this recreation area was a limestone quarry, and my new word for the day is tailings. Tailings are the material left over after the process of separating the valuable fraction from the uneconomic fraction of an ore. Tailings are distinct from overburden, which is the waste rock or other material that overlies an ore or mineral body and is displaced during it without being processed. Unfortunately for us, or fortunate for us, it was very windy and rained quite a bit while we were there. We ended up inside for much of the weekend. 
We were able to watch and capture the changing lighting on the lake from our dash cam throughout the day and evening. We love the sunset and hope you do also. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel.